ashver.com. Hello and welcome to ashver.com. You are watching an interesting and informative video on Lyme disease, the culprit, recognize, survive and treatment. Please read the disclaimer carefully. Its scientific name is Ixode scapularis, and it is a three-host tick. It feeds upon a different host animal during each mobile stage. Mobile stages, larvae, nymph, adult. In May, larvae morphs into nymphs, which feed on a variety of hosts for three to, for three to four days. In a similar fashion, stuffed nymphs detach and drop to the forest floor where they morph, molt, into the adult stage which becomes active in October. In June and July, eggs from the previous spring hatch into tiny six-legged larvae. Highest la larval activity happens in August, when larvae attach and feed on a large number of mammals and birds, primarily on white-footed mice, Peromyscus leucopus, Anderson and Magnarelli 1980. After feeding for three to five days, stuffed larvae drop from the host to the ground where they spend the winter, over winter, under leaves. Adult ticks remain active through the winter on days when the ground and ambient temperatures are above freezing. The adult male tick feeds hardly at all during this time, while the adult female ticks feed for five to seven. There are various kinds of ticks and various kinds of medical treatment that are specific to each bite. If an infected tick bites you, you risk contacting any number of serious diseases, including Lyme disease, which if untreated can lead to a crippling form of arthritis. Ixodes scapularis, pictured above, is found along the east coast of the United States. All states from Florida westward into central Texas form the lower boundary, although there are some reports of the tick being spotted in Mexico. The upper boundary is located in Maine, moving westward into Minnesota and Iowa, where there are numerous Lyme disease reports. The white-tailed deer is responsible for the movement and wide distribution of scapularis. Wherever the deer goes, the deer tick, scapularis, goes with it. Large populations of ticks are supported only by deer or some other large Spotting deer ticks on you When the deer tick consumes blood, it turns a light grayish-blue color, but the tick itself is black. It's helpful to concentrate on the legs and upper part of the body, when identifying a swollen tick. However, it's better to avoid tick-infested areas to prevent, to prevent being bitten and possibly infected with a tick-related disease. Local health departments are there to help you identify these areas. Meanwhile, if you're not in the position to contact your local health department, and you're unsure about which areas might be infected, always suspect. Woodlands Marshes Grassy areas the tick has small legs jutting out from its side and its mouth, a sharp probe with backward pointing bulbs on it. The probe is what enters you, draws blood, and injects. Ticks carry several diseases. Depending on the region, ticks transmit many diseases, Lyme disease Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever Colorado Tick Fever to Laremia Babesiosis. Lyme disease is the most common of these. Most people don't know they've been bitten until a rash resembling a bull's eye shows up. Rocky Mountain Fever will give you a rash two or three days after the onset. Most likely, it will break out on your wrists and ankles first, then spread to your trunk, palms, and soles of your feet. Colorado Tick Fever sets in for sets in three to five days after the bite. Expect recurring fever, chills, a headache, and perhaps nausea and vomiting as well. Recognizing Tick Bites Lyme disease can bring on a characteristic skin rash. You will find a red area that looks somewhat like a bull's eye at the place where the tick bit you. A small welt is sometimes found in the center, with a red ring-like rash encircling it. The rash usually appears two to five days or up to four weeks after the tick draws blood. The rash may reappear at another site on the body, 
if left untreated. Sometimes the rashes go unnoticed, but you should not ignore any signs. Removing a tick. Remove a tick quickly, before it can inject disease use tweezers or thin, curved forceps from the drugstore or grasp the tick as close as possible to the part sticking into your skin no pull steadily do not jerk until the tick comes loose then disinfect the wound with rubbing alcohol or antiseptic tick. It's a good idea to keep the tick, your doctor may want to see it or have you take it to the community health department for analysis. What to do when hiking? Wear white or light colored clothing so you can spot ticks easily against the light background keep body covered, wear long sleeve shirts that button at the wrist, long pants, socks tuck pants into socks to prevent ticks from crawling up your legs. Check each other thoroughly when you return from the hike. Tick size at different stages. Tick larvae are about the size of a pinhead. Nymphs, ticks in the second stage, are about twice that size. A mature tick is about one quarter inch long. Surviving a tick bite. Have a friend or spouse check you thoroughly, after hiking, being on the ground, or a wooded area. Don't assume you're safe, if you don't find any ticks when you and your partner check for them. The tick that causes Lyme disease is so small you may have a hard time, hard time spotting it, and a tick bite likely will not be painful enough to attract your attention. Therefore, it is good to pay attention to your body for the next four weeks. If you find any rashes or red spots that you can't account for, have your doctor check them out. If you have flu-like symptoms, it is likely you have contracted a tick-related disease. Treatment for Lyme disease. Antibiotics are used to treat Lyme disease. Recovery will be quicker and more complete the sooner treatment begins. Tick bite victims can take antibiotic treatment orally or intravenously. The key is to catch and treat a tick bite in a timely fashion. Thank you for watching this video. This channel offers motivational, inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. You can find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, stay tuned and keep watching.